So what do you do when you left a job that you didn't like and now you don't know how to explain it to potential employers? My name is JT O'Donnell and welcome to Coaching Moment. This is the YouTube series that helps you remove the roadblocks to career success. So we got a really interesting comment from one of our viewers named Chloe and she said, how do I explain why I left my last job? I was stuck in a situation that I didn't enjoy at my previous job so I left after six months. There were no clear expectations, there was poor communication and guidance. And I was also doing some technical tasks that I hadn't been hired to do and I wasn't an expert in, but was basically expected to do so. I can't tell interviewers the negative things about the company, and I confess that I didn't really find out enough about the company until you know I started working there, so I see this as my problem too. What should I do? So I'm really excited about this question from Chloe because we get this a lot. And sometimes you end up in a situation that you're not happy with and you leave, right? But now you've got to explain that and we're always told, don't throw a company under the bus. Don't be negative about a past employer. And that's actually really good advice because when you're negative in an interview, the HR folks and recruiting folks are thinking, well, if you're this negative in the interview, what are you going to be like on the job? I actually was coached when I was in HR to whatever I saw in the interview, multiply that by 10 times, and that's the behavior that I would get on the job by that candidate. So it is really smart not to be negative about this situation. So how do you handle it? Well, at Work It Daily, one of the things that we teach you in our side, our program, is the experience plus learn equals grow model. And this is a fabulous model for handling these types of questions. The goal of this is to be more objective about the experience. Take all the subjectivity, the emotion, the drama out of what happened to you and really just get down to the facts about what happened in the job and then how you came to learn that it wasn't a fit for you and now how you're going to take that information and grow, meaning you're going to make sure that the next time around you're more informed and that you choose an employer that's right for you. Something I always tell people is that for the most part, there's always an exception, that there are no bad companies or bad employees, there's just bad fits. And if you can go into this scenario thinking that way, and Chloe clearly did here, she took some accountability for the situation in terms of not necessarily doing her homework. Um, I think if you can do that and follow this experience, learn and grow model, what you'll convey in that interview is that you really are somebody who understands that things aren't perfect, but you got the most that you could out of that situation, and now you're ready to move on and be an even more valuable asset to their organization. If you can do that in the interview, you're gonna be just fine. Okay, did you find this helpful? Questions, comments, feedback, you know what to do, put it down in the section below. I definitely wanna see you in the next video, and until next time, please remember this, if you wanna win, you've gotta work it daily.